Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be updating my frame generation guide for Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2. We'll show you how to use DLSS for upscale in conjunction with FSR or XSS frame generation. In order to achieve this, I'll be using OptiScaler mod. Prior to the release of OptiScaler XSS frame gen, I had been using Nucom 9's mod FSR frame generation in this game. The mod used to produce some ghosting around the character model. In order to fix this ghosting, I used another mod. This is not required in the case of Octascaler, XCSS or FSR frame gen. This game has received many updates since its release, performance has been optimized, a lot of new content has been added, balance fixes. The last major update was in the form of patch 10.0, this is the update log. The latest hotfix is available in the form of patch 10.2. Now this game supports FSR 3.1, unfortunately the upscaler is not decoupled from FSR frame gen, we cannot combine. DLSS upscaler with FSR frame gen. This is why I'll be using OptiScaler mod on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. This game comes with easy anti-cheat implementation which we need to disable in order to use OptiScaler mod. This means we cannot play the game in online mode with the mod installed. Very disappointing. I'll be using the latest test build of OptiScaler mod version 0.9 preview 3 2025091. Build available on their Discord server, we'll give the link to their Discord in the description of the video. Just click on the .cmc link here. The game comes with a slightly older version of TLSS for Upscaler. I'll override TLSS Upscaler via NVIDIA app. We'll be verifying the Upscaler's details using TLSS Debug Overlay. We'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC. Name it anything you want, I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg, hit enter, yes. Select the file, right click, open with notepad, paste the lines here. Click on file, save, close and run this registry file. This will activate TLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable DLSS debug overlay. Select the file, right click open. Click on yes, ok. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Open its archive file and just copy the highlighted files OptiScaler.ini, OptiScaler.tll, leave xcss underscore fg.tll. This file corresponds to xcss frame gen. DX11 version of xcss super resolution not required. Leave xcss.tll, xcss super resolution file. Live xcll.tll, xcss low latency mode file, fake nvapi.ini, fake nvapi.tll files. Fake nvapi replaces the in game, reflex implementation with xcss low latency mode. I'll also test Nucom 9's mod and just copy dlss g to fsr3 amd's better.tll file. Vulcan version of Fidelity FX file not required. Copy all of the dx12 versions of Fidelity FX files. Right click copy. Open the game's install directory, select the game in your steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open client underscore pc folder, open root folder, bin folder, pc folder, paste everything here. Replace using OptiScaler mod, you can even inject the intact version of FSR for Upscaler into the game. Just need to replace the mods FSR4 TLL file with the intake version of FSR4 TLL file. I have already shown this setup process, we'll drop the video link in the description. Now we just need to change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll. Mod has been installed. Now I'll show you how to disable in-game easy anti-cheat implementation. In this directory, where you install optiscaler mod, just create a new text file. Name it as run game. and change the extension from .txt to .bat batch file hit enter yes select the file right click edit in notepad paste the following lines i'll provide them in the description of the video you can copy the lines from there and paste them here click on file click on save close now whenever you want to start the game just execute run game.pat file do not launch the game via steam store otherwise eac will get initiated and it will stop the game from launching block optiscaler mod i'll quickly override dlss upscaler via nvidia app just open it 
click on graphics click on the three dots here click on refresh the list here will show you all of the games installed on your PC. Select Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine. Click on the pencil icon next to DLSS Override Model PC and select Latest as the option. Apply. Here we are done here. Enabling hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is required for using Nukem 9 Smart. Right click anywhere on the desktop. Click on Display Settings. Click on Graphics. Click on Advanced Graphics Settings. Enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting from here. If your monitor supports VR, enable the setting as well. Now enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on Manage 3D settings. Click on Program settings. From this drop down bar, select Warhammer 40,000. Scroll down to the end. Enable VSync from here. Apply. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync here. And enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. And enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator setting. This step is optional. Click on display and check this setting. G-Sync compatible indicator. We'll be using Afterburner and RTSS to show you the performance metrics. Just open RTSS. Click on setup here. Scroll down to the end. And make sure the following settings are disabled. Enable frame rate limiter. And inject NVIDIA reflex latency marker settings. Use Microsoft. D2's API hooking setting should be enabled. Ready to run the game. Do not launch the game via Steam Store, otherwise EAC will get initiated. Just execute this rungame.pat file, double click, wait for the game to start. In the top right corner it's mentioned, mods detected, this means OptiScaler is working. Just open the in-game video settings, display mode set to borderless, full HD resolution, upscaler DLSS using its quality preset, sharpness level 1, frame generation enabled. It actually does not enable FSR frame generation. Enabling or disabling it does not matter. Motion blur disabled, no FPS cap applied. Setting set to high. That's it. Jump into the game. Yeah, we are in playing as Lieutenant Titus, accompanied by my AI control companions, Kyran and Catriel. This place is full of poor men. Oh my god. I'll just use my flamethrower. Very heavy sequence. FPS is close to 100. That's really good to see. Hitting the GP bottleneck. V RAM usage is close to 6.1 GB. No artifacts are produced around the character model. Check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Portion of the upscaler 310.3.0 render preset used is K. This is the transformer model of DLSS 4. DLSS auto exposure setting. It's on. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution. OptiScaler settings. Presets are overridden externally as I am using NVIDIA app. Oh no, how to die. Okay, first I'll enable Nukem Nice Mod. These things still attacking me. Click on the drop down bar next to FG Source and select Nukem's TLSSG. Save i Close, restart, just execute run game.pat file. Now go to the video settings and make sure upscale is set to DLSS and frame generation is enabled. Load the same sequence here, FPS increased to around 165. Just observe a character model spinning the camera. Yeah, ghosting is produced around a character model. This is the problem when using Nukem 9's mod in this game. Need to use another mod in order to fix this ghosting around the character model. Or better to just use OptiScaler XSS frame generation. Games HUD elements, they are not flickering. DLSS debug all is flickering. You can just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. Just open OptiScaler mod menu. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select TLSS GY streamline as the option. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option. Click on save i and I close. Restart the game. Again, just execute run game.pat file. Again, make sure in game frame generation is enabled. Upscaler set to DLSS. Load the same sequence. Just open OptiScaler menu and check the setting active under frame generation XCFG. Yeah, frame time graph will become thick like this. This means XCSS frame gen is working. Enable debug view. You will see these purple sidebars flickering. If the side pass don't appear, this means XSS frame gen is not working at all. 
disable the debug view current method mentioned under frame rate section xcll check its fps limit frame limiter yeah it's working remove the fps gap save why and i close here we are getting close to 150 fps animation quality it's looking much smoother than before games hard elements they are not flickering and just observe a character model even when i spin the camera no ghosting is produced around the character model you can even use optiscaler's fsr frame generation even it does not produce any graphical artifacts use the same fg source from the fg output drop down bar select fsr fg instead of xcss fg fps increased by around 60 to 70 after enabling xcss frame generation game was already hitting the gpu bottleneck so i'm not surprised if you're ending the video i'll just show you how to disable dlss debug overlay just need to edit overlay.reg file that we created earlier select it right click open with notepad replace the number 4 here with 0 click on file click on save close and run this registry file right click open yes okay that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day